Okay, as usual, welcome to um, to the Alt Latino Live Instagram interview. Yay! It works. <laughs> Leila from uh, Billboard Magazine. Thank you so. Much. What is your official title, Leila? So everybody knows. Uh, my official title is VP Latin Industry Lead, which I'm not even sure what that means, but. <laughs> Well, either way, we're very, very glad to have you here uh, on our Instagram live interviews. And also, um, just want to remind everybody, as usual, let us know where you're listening from. We always like to see where, oh, look, hello in Kazakhstan, Leila. Look at that. Oh, my God. I yeah. love it. Yeah. And, and also, if you have, we're going to talk about songs of the summer this year, for the summer this year, okay? Leila's got her predictions of what she thinks are going to be the songs of the summer. Um, and uh, and when Layla says something, we should all listen because it's usually pretty spot on, <laughs> pretty spot on. And also, um, if you guys have your own suggestions for songs of the summer, send them in the comments, and we'll collect them and we'll read them at the end of the at the end of the interview. Okay. Uh, so again, we're talking about songs of the summer. Again, thanks everybody for <laughs> thanks everybody for uh, writing in all your locations. I love it. Um, can you see some of this? Oh, South Africa, look at that. Slovakia, one. France, South Africa. Oh my look gosh. Fiji, Fiji. Three hours west of Chicago. <laughs> India, oh my gosh. This right. is amazing. This is so much fun. Thank you so Felix, much. Felix, you're so popular. Huh? <laughs> you, it's you, Lee. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna hang out with Felix more. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Okay, let's get right into the music. Let's hear you. Uh, I've got the list of the songs that you, who do you want to start with? We have four songs that we're going to talk about, and then everybody else is going to be, you can send in your your suggestions. So, hey, but it? it's not just mine, right? It's yours too. You're also going to talk about your songs, right? Um, just you today. No, por qué? Actually, like two, the two that I had in mind are on this list, actually. Really? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so what do you want to start with? Well, I, I want to start by saying that to me, a song of the summer is the kind of song that you're in the beach or driving in your car or like sitting around a campfire and you can kind of sing at the top of your lungs and everybody knows the lyrics and they do tend to be up-tempo. So I'm, it's, it's, those are to me the songs of the summer, like you're shouting at them, you're shouting them rather, and uh, and they're very danceable. They tend to be, although not all songs of the summer have been danceable, but they tend to be danceable. So I do want to start with a song of the summer that I love because it's different from what we've done before. And it's this song called Botella Tras Botella, which means bottle after bottle. Have you heard it, Felix? Yeah. That's, that was the one I was going to pick. It was one of the ones. It's such a great song. And you know, before you play it, I, I want people to know that it's by Cristian Nodal and this new act called um, Hera MX. Um, and, and it's a mix of like regional Mexican music and kind of rap urban music. And it's the first regional Mexican song that ever makes it to the Billboard Hot 100, which was remarkable to me. I didn't know that. But it's such a fun song and it's I think it's so well done and I think it's completely different to anything I had heard so all right here we go I'm going to play it on my little speaker here and then uh we should be able to hear it <laughs> Can we put it in the background? Yeah. 
So what does it do with Mexican regional? You know, we just did a show a couple of weeks ago about sort of like the resurgence of uh, Mexican regional or regional Mexican. Um, we had a guy on saying that it's some of these uh, artists are, are expected to get as many views as some of the reggaeton artists. What, what's the deal with, uh, with Mexican regional these days? I, I love what's happening. And what many people don't know is that that Mexican regional or regional Mexican, however you want to call it, that was the music that dominated Latin music in the United States for years and years and years. And then reggaeton and urban music kind of took over. And now we have a new generation of uh, regional Mexican acts. They're young uh, and they're really locked on to tradition, but also to new stuff. And so they've come up with this mix of sounds that I think is really resonating with people. And a song like Botella Tras Botella, which is, by the way, it's not an up-tempo song. I was just talking about up-tempo songs, but it's, it's uh, you know, it's almost like a ranchera, like you can just like cry it because someone is tearing your heart out. But it also has like this kind of contemporary rap and vamp in the middle. So I think it bridges many, many generations and a new generation is discovering this music. It's not just music for their parents anymore. Yeah, that's pretty much, I, what, before I used to describe it as, for people who didn't understand or know the music or weren't familiar with it, I used to describe it with just as like cowboy hats and accordions, right? <laughs> More or less. They still have that. Yeah, they still do it, right? But it, and, and it has been our parents' uh, uh, music, but there's also this, this thing, this corrido tumbao, movement was happening with a lot with with trap right there's talked a little bit about that yeah there's very similar um the corrida tumbao which is the corridas which are the very traditional mexican songs which are great by the way everybody who's here should at one point listen to a corrido because they're like these outlaw songs uh they, it's not just about outlaws but they talk about drug dealers like people who are famous and infamous and uh, so they're like modern troubadours. Uh, so Corrido Tumbao takes that tradition, but they put like trap into it. And it's, it's a really cool mix. It's one of those mixes that you would say, I never thought this would work. And it turns out that it does. Yeah, in a big way, in a big mm -hmm. way. Yeah, very cool. Okay, uh, remember guys, send us your, uh, your suggestions uh, for the songs of the summer and also keep telling us where you're watching from. Okay, next, your next selection. My next selection, what should it be? Okay, let me go somewhere else and say that I really like Raul Alejandro's Todo de Ti. So I don't know if you wanna play it a little bit or you want me to tell you about it. Let's hear it first and then we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> There you go. That's good. Turn it. If we keep listening, if we keep listening like that, it's going to turn to a Felix Debs party, and you don't want to see that. <laughs> I like that song because Rao is ostensibly a, a reggaeton act, but he's not, you know. And he's come up with this song that's kind of very poppy. It does not have a reggaeton beat. It, it's almost like a little bit of a disco beat. And then I don't know if you guys have seen the video, but the video is. I don't know. I'm a sucker for like cute videos. And he has Shaquille O'Neal roller, not rollerblading, roller skating in the video. And it's just kind of fun and everyone's dancing and everyone's having a good time. And, and it's the kind of song that I can see working right. well in parties throughout the summer, Felix. I, I like that song. It's, I like that it's, that it's just a happy song. Yeah. And uh, and it's not like a super sexual song. No, it's like happy, it's romantic, it's sexy. 
it's it's just really fresh. It's a good pick. It's a very good pick. Okay. But what do I, you think? I like it a lot. You know, I I hadn't heard it before you told me about it. Um, but it does have all the characteristics of a of a summer song, right? Yeah, from the stuff that I remember, you know, before. Yeah, absolutely. Um, want to remind people to send in your picks, uh, people. <clears throat> Your music, they're doing some construction outside here, and it just sounds ah, like, oh. I'm trying to follow the comments to see what's the name of that song. It's called Todo de Ti. Todo de Ti. Todo de Ti from Raul Alejandro. And I'm taking notes on what you guys are writing. She just wants to party. Okay. Oh. Also, um, and again, I wonder if you're just tuning in to watch us. Uh, I'm Felix Contreras from NPR's Alt Latino. I'm with Leila Cobo from Billboard Magazine, my colleague, my friend, and my musical expert. Okay. <laughs> okay, now the third track. Let's go to the third track. Okay, the third track. I am going to be so predictable, <laughs> but <clears throat> I, I'd be remiss if I didn't say it. I think. Bad Bunny just came out with a new song. It's called Jonaguni because there's a Japanese island called Jonaguni. He's never been to Jonaguni in his life. And suddenly everybody now knows that there is an island in Japan called Jonaguni because of the song. And um, being it Bad Bunny, I think it's going to be a big song. I think it's going to be a big song this summer. It's slightly different to what he's done before. This is kind of more of a heartbreak song. And uh, and people seem, everything that Bad Bunny does seems to take hold. So I will predict that this will too. Okay, here we go. This is and this was the other song I picked too. But... Right? Uh, 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 pretty amazing how he has just like really become such a force in such a short amount of time Bad Bunny. It, it is it is um he's one of these artists the, the way that people have been describing him to me lately when they talk about him um they call him a unicorn <laughs> because he's one of these artists really that that is very rare it's very rare to have someone be this successful this quickly and really that everything he puts out just is immediately devoured and uh, and just a very faithful loyal following he's a great visual artist too i have to say that what he does visually really complements his music i think it's a big secret to his success and of course him you know as a as a, his whole persona is very very distinctive, very persuasive. And then the song, I, I can't tell you it's the most extraordinary song in the world. No, I wouldn't say that, but I think it's the kind of song that's going to resonate with a big, big chunk of, of young listeners who are kind of having, going through a heartbreak, and this is a great song to relate to. And, and what's amazing to me too, in addition to everything you said, was also how... He's cross-cultural because people, not just Spanish speakers or Latinos or people who come from a background like that, appreciate him. He's got fans across the spectrum. It's really amazing. He really does. Well, he sold out his U.S. tour, which is it starts next year. But um, they sold it out or it sold out most of it literally within hours. You know, they went out on sale and within like four hours, these tickets were 80% of the entire arena tour was sold out. And um, 
Yeah, there's a lot of Latins going to this concert, but I assure you that there's a lot of people that aren't Latin in, in order to get those numbers so quickly and, and, and so, I don't know, so convincingly. And, and, and he likes to drop these sing singles out without any prior warning. He just kind of drops them and they're there and, and fans all wait for them anxiously. And I have to say, I did, I did like the song, especially when you listen to it watching the video, which I understand might not be the purest way to do it. But then you kind of partake in the whole experience and you get what's in his head. And, uh, and I think it's going to be a big hit. I do. <laughs> yeah, and, and the, the video, the visual is all part of the experience these days anyway. You know what I mean? It is part of they the whole thing. are. So before we go on, you had four picks. Uh, before we go on, I want to go to um, some of the suggestions that people have written in. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mi Cuenta de Mi from El Arcas, uh, Love Light, Natalie Cole, Dope, Jesse Reyes, uh, Duro 205, Laguni Chonga, <laughs> it's the watermelon sugar from Harry Styles, the Stiegel, uh, Telepatia from Caliuchis. Yeah. And Passed You By from Chicano Batman. Here's an oldie but goodie. I mean, like an oldie. This is from Un Verano in Nueva York from Husky Barreto from the Fania days, um, the 70s. And you know, Felix, somebody put uh, Butter by BTS. And uh, <laughs> I mean, again, not to sound cliche, but that's going to be a big old summer song. It already is a big song. Yeah. Uh, so that one definitely will take off as well. Amazing. It's taken off. <laughs> Amazing. It's, it's, it's always fascinating to me. It's always interesting to me to, every summer to see what, what pops up and what doesn't. Yes. Um, Let's see, Kali, Jesse Reyes, people are writing in. Lots of different stuff. This is great. And somebody wrote uh, my fourth pick, which is actually, you know, I, I find that my picks today were, were kind of in the same vein, which is another, we had Botella Tras Botella, and then the other song that I love is uh, Carol G's Doscientas Copas uh, from her new album. It's not, it's not the focus track yet, but I love what she did in that song. So it sounds like a ranchera. It sounds like she recorded it in a bar. And uh, it's it's great. It reminds me of a Vicente Fernandez, like, ah, oh, <laughs> you're killing me, ranchera. And again, it's kind of that song that you can see yourself singing with a big old crowd. So yeah. I'm glad that it wasn't just me and someone else put that in there. <laughs> Cortavena song, as I call them. Cortavena song, totally. Here we go. Oh, here's the bar. Mm -hmm. Buenas noches a todos. Decidí hoy subir a cantar a estos lugares donde normalmente la gente come y no lo escuchan a uno, pero hay una amiga muy especial que está escuchando esta canción. Amiga. Marica, ya. A veo sufriendo sola aunque me quede Al que los labios no se suelte Las horas de llorar son suficientes Para entender que no es amor así que suelte Ya trata de aguantar y no se enoja Amor, que no quiere perderte Pero que va, ya por ti no llora más Hoy yo voy a pedirle que te deje porque tú no haces nada Amiga, ella solo hace el pan that's pretty amazing. You know, I have to point out, uh, our producer, Ana Maria Sayer, just pointed out, too, that uh, she performed this on the Tiny Desk concert that she did uh, last month on the Tiny yes. Desk concert series. You know, she did a great Tiny Desk concert. And, uh, and what many people don't know is that American music, she's Colombian, I'm Colombian as well, and 
we have a huge tradition of listening to Mexican music. Mexican music is very near and dear uh, to Colombians. So I was really happy to hear her do that song because when I was growing up, you would go to party at a club and at midnight, they would always play a set of rancheras and we would all sit down and kind of uh, sing these songs. And so this is what this reminded me of. I thought it was like a great, a great way to kind of pay homage to that culture. It is, it's such a great touch, such a great touch. It shows a little bit, quite a bit of diversity on her part to be able to, because singing rancheras is, it take, it's a special skill, right? I it's see. Very, it's like rancheras are, I've always, I didn't understand it, right, when I was younger, because I come, for people who don't know, I come from Mexican-American background, right, from California. Not from Mexico, but from California, but my mother, <laughs> My mother, my parents, we were, everybody was listening to rancheras. And I didn't get it until I said, you, you have to have loved and lost. In order to <laughs> really, and mariachi and even some of the corridos, all of these love songs, you really have to have lived life in order to, to, to appreciate them. And then when somebody like this, like the, the Carol G comes along, it's convincing, man, because, you know, you feel it. You feel it in there, you know? I know, I do love that track. And Felix, so I have to ask you, I picked four. You got to pick at least one. So these are the songs of the summer. Someone was saying, what are they talking about? Songs of the summer. <laughs> songs of the summer for this year. Um, you know, I, you know, I don't have any, I don't have any, I, I, I'm always at a loss. I never participate in the songs of the summer at NPR Music because I I'm, I don't think forward that way, right? I hear songs that I like that that will be good for me, but like I don't know that they're going to be good for everybody else. Like <laughs> the, one well one of the records that I'm I'm really like completely blown away with this year was the um um the Tangana album. Okay. So you know some of that some of that stuff right there is the stuff that's still sticking with me six months later. And it'll probably carry on into the summer. So is that my summer song? You know, my summer music. <laughs> I, but I never, I never think about it that way. I, I always try, but I never can. I'm coming up short, man. I'm failing you. Sorry, man. No, Felix, you're not. You got to think if your kids like it and you like it, that's a summer song. There you go. <laughs> um, let's see. I think we're going to read off a few more of the selections of people. Uh, Let's see, Tito de Garcia. Oh, some music from In the Heights. Um, Jose Luis Rodriguez con Los Panchos. Ram Pam Pam, Carol G, and Natty uh, Natasha. Girl from Rio, from Anita. Those are That's all. That's a cool song. Right? Mm -hmm. So we just wanted to make this real quick, Layla. Just wanted to check in with you and see what you thought the songs of the summer were going to be and share it with the people who are watching out here from everywhere from Kazakhstan to India to uh, Northern Virginia, I saw. So as always, Leila Kobo from Billboard Magazine, thank you so much for taking time to talk to us here with NPR Music and all that, you know, it's always a pleasure to hear what you have to say. No, Felix, love being here, love this topic. And yeah, send me, I've been, I've been like reading and taking some notes when I can, but it goes too fast. So send me your suggestions, but you know, send me new stuff because the song of the summer has to be new. It has to be something you're discovering that summer. Right. But would love to get new discoveries into my playlist. There so you please go. send them over. Just reach out to her on, on here on Instagram. You can reach out to me on Instagram as well. Leila, thanks so much. Thank as you, Felix. Hey, un abrazo. <laughs> Ciao. Okay, and everybody, thank you so much for watching. We'll be up again in another two weeks with another Instagram Live interview, and we'll see what happens then, okay? Ciao, everybody. Gracias.